Hey everybody, Genesis7 here. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going over my thoughts and opinions of Theatre Rhythm Final Bar Line. But before I go any further, I've got to shout out the folks at Square Enix for supplying me with the game code so I can get my thoughts, my opinions, and the footage you're going to see in this video ready for release. And I'm really grateful for that. I've had the time to really dive in deep. And I've got to thank Square Enix for that opportunity. That being said, you guys know it doesn't influence anything I say. These are all my thoughts and opinions and my thoughts and opinions alone. Also, I've got you covered with timestamps in the description box down below. So if there's something you're looking for in particular, I'm more than happy for you to watch this video however you want to watch it. All I ask is to support the channel by hitting the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you like the content you are seeing and leave a comment down below on your thoughts and opinions of the video. So, Theatre Rhythm Final Bar Line. In a nutshell, I'm going to never really do this. Well, I kind of do this, but I'm going to do this anyway. Yes, this is a fantastic game. If you're a fan of Final Fantasy, if you're a fan of Final Fantasy music, this is a game you want to purchase and you want to play because I have had such a blast. This is such a jam for me to play and I really can't wait to talk about it. It's going to be a lot of positivity with a few kind of like nitpicks in between. So let's get into it by talking about my history of the Theatre Rhythm series. Um, I don't really need to talk about me as a Final Fantasy fan because you guys should know I am a fan of Final Fantasy and I love its music. Theatre Rhythm though, I've only ever played Curtain Call on the 3DS and that was just a small passing kind of like game. I really wanted to listen to some music, Final Fantasy music in particular, and I just kind of wanted to interact with it. So I had my stylus, my 3DS, and I was just going away, didn't really think much of it. But then, fast forward to now, Final Bar Line! We got the promotion, the, the, the marketing was getting going. And I was like, oh wow, this really looks good. Oh wow, there's over 380 songs. What, there's characters you can play as as well? And I was just like really, 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 really interested. And then the demo came out and I was just hooked. That was it, the demo won me over and I was ready. And here I am now. So there, there is the journey um, of my theater rhythm adventure. Let's talk about the game. So at its core, it is a rhythm game. Yes, some people may not be into this. I'm not really good at uh, rhythm games myself, but I get to go and relive these classics. The nostalgia. I was going through the songs of Final Fantasy VIII, and I was loving every minute of it. I, d I even forgot it was a rhythm game. I was just like singing along, doing all the button presses, and just loving life. And then I went over to the Mystic Quest um, sound, Track that there's a few songs for Mystic Quest. I've never played Mystic Quest, but that soundtrack's banging. And I was like, this is what this game is about. It is just a appreciation for the music of Final Fantasy from one to what will be 16. Um, obviously, 16 music isn't in the game, but let's go one to 15 and everything else in between. It is just a love letter and a celebration. Like, it is the 35th year after all, and it's such a jam. But yeah, it is a, a rhythm game at its core, and I think we need to talk about that because it might turn a few people off. It's like, oh, I really like Final Fantasy, I like the music, but I absolutely suck at rhythm games. Well, there is so many options to kind of cater it to your style. Like, you can do this, like, trigger test where you'll just do, you'll have a drum bit be playing, and then you'll kind of, like, do the drum beat, and it'll, say, it'll let you know if you're, like, behind or in front and it'll adjust the triggers uh, naturally for you. So I'm like at plus, plus three, the normal, because I'm a little bit faster with my button. I think I'm a little bit slower. Regardless, I'm not on par with it, but now that I went on plus three, I'm really getting into the jam of it and singing along as well. I'm hitting all those criticals. Um, only an expert, like we'll talk about Ultimate and Supreme, but... Um, yeah, it really caters to, to you. There's also a simple mode where if you don't really want to do all the directional buttons or if you don't want to do all the wiggly lines and the field music stages, just the button press. So you can literally just sit back and just jam to a song and relax, get those points, watch your characters just grind away in the screen. And it's great. And like, I, I really think I should probably like mix in the accessibility, talking about the accessibility options as well, because it really kind of goes into the overall experience. You're making this rhythm game 
cater to you so much from like changing the colors of the buttons changing the, the like transparency of the background so if you get too uh, distracted with what's going off in the background you can turn that off um, you can kind of like build these walls so you can only see when it comes to the, the points where you're supposed to press as it comes like there's so many options to mess around with to kind of get it to your level it's great and I'm loving it like I've changed the settings to what suits me and I'm having a blast like it's such a nostalgia trip that is what it it is at its core for me it's just a great experience of music and i'm not great at rhythm games and i'm loving it and i really want to kind of like really highlight that fact because a lot of people would be turned off by the game because it's a rhythm game but they really really interested I, i'm here to tell you that ignore that get it mess with the settings and you'll be loving life. You don't need to do the supreme difficulty. You don't need to do the ultimate difficulty. The amount of times my fingers have fell off trying, but you don't need to do it. You can go through the whole game on simple or expert. I'm on, I'm on expert level. Sometimes when I'm feeling uh, courageous, I will hit the ultimate difficulty. That's the great thing about it is that it's accessible to you. And that's a really big selling point. And yeah that's that in a nutshell i want to talk about some rpg elements because these have caught me off guard and these have kind of made me addicted to the game so in the marketing you may have seen there's over 100 characters from various final fantasy series and you can level up these characters if you played the demo you'll know what i mean and you get abilities and these abilities do certain things in what's happening in the background in particular on the battle and the field stages but there's so much more to it as you're going through the series quests which is essentially like i guess you could say is a story mode you're kind of reliving the games by playing the music in order of how they appear in the game and as you do it each of these things have a quest and this is where the rpg elements come into it it doesn't matter how good you are at a rhythm game if you haven't got the right team to complete these quests, you're not going to complete these quests. And some of these are easy. You have to just get a certain amount of points, which is tied to the rhythm aspect of the game. Some of them is to inflict certain status elements. So you need to make sure that you're equipped your characters with uh, attacks that do status elements. Sometimes you need to reach a certain boss. And sometimes that can be quite a grind. So you need quite a, a, like a, a heavy attack team. Sometimes you need to not get hurt. And usually that means if you miss a trigger, you'll get hurt, but you can have characters that will nullify that. So if you do miss, your HP meter won't go down. There's quests where you need to defeat a boss in a certain amount of time. So you really need to have a look at this boss, uh, weigh up its weakness, its strengths, when it appears, maybe when your summons appear. And that's another thing in itself. Like, weigh up everything that's happening in the background. Why are you playing this rhythm game? Uh, to defeat this boss and I'm loving this it's so addicting I'm trying to clear all of them at the moment and some of them are really hard now I've got level 99 characters and even further than that you can level them up to certain star level and I'm still having trouble with certain certain songs and it's just the just the nature of trying to complete them is so gratifying like if you are a Final Fantasy fan I think you will really dig the RPG elements it offers so you've got characters with their abilities, with their own unique abilities. You can also, um, like when you're going through the stages and you're battling, you can you need to kind of weigh up how these enemies are attacking to find the best route that's for you. Sometimes you might need to um, not lose any health or have a certain health percentage and you take healers in so that they heal you when you take damage. And that also falls into you having more of a chance to complete a stage if you're not very good at doing the rhythm. Because if you've got healers on your team, they're gonna keep your HP topped up as much as they can to give you that extra chance instead of getting like an, a fail all the time. And I, I really, really like this aspect. Like I think this is the, the rhythm part, the, the music is the nostalgia factor for me and I'm loving going through these musics. But the RPG elements is what's got me hooked and don't want to leave the game alone. Like I'm thinking about going through the Final Fantasy 3 series right now and I'm like, I need to complete all those quests right now and I want to end the video, but I don't because I want to share it with you guys because I think you're really going to really enjoy 
what it has to offer. That's its gameplay in a nutshell, talking about the rhythm aspect and the RPG elements. I've talked about series quests, and there is something like bonus at the end once you kind of complete the quote unquote story. Uh, there's, a, there's a certain series quest you go through to complete the game. And then you unlock this extra mode, which is where I think a lot of people are going to be challenging each other. And I think we can move on to multiplayer because with me playing it before release, I've not had a chance to play the multi battles. But I'm really excited to do so because it seems like you can do certain things, take characters with certain abilities that will help you maybe win. Like you can change what's happening on your opponent's screen. And I'm really excited to do that, but I can't talk about it too much because I've not played it, so I can't tell you much more from that. So let's talk about the kind of like extras in the game. Obviously, you can once you've played a song and unlocked it, you can listen to it in the music player, or you can, you know, uh, go back and play it and try and get the best score in just the general music player. That uh, there's a music player where you can listen to it like it would be like Windows Media Player kind of thing or iTunes. Uh, whatever floats your boat but on top of that there is these collector cards that you can get and the summons as well i did touch on it briefly so collector cards there's a lot of them there is a lot of cards you collect you get them from drops by doing the stages you can take characters that increase those rates um, you get them from completing the songs you get them from doing quests you get them everywhere and there's loads to collect i'm gonna try my best to collect them all it's very addictive and i think it plays into the rpg elements once again also summons you can collect summon stones you can have characters with abilities that change the rarity sometimes they may have just have the blue ability which is just like the lower tier then you have the, like the orange ability which is like pretty good abilities and then you have the rainbow tier of abilities and i don't know if you can get they have three slots. I don't know if you can get rainbow, 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 but I know that you can get orange, 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 or gold, gold, gold. I guess silver, silver, silver. Um, but that's what the main aim, isn't it? To get the summon with the best abilities. I'm rocking like Knights of the Round, Bahamut, and Odin because I've got some pretty cool rainbow abilities that really help me out in battles. There's so much to it. There's also trophies if you're playing on the PlayStation. If you're playing on the Switch, you have the kind of feat system which ties into the trophy system. So there are certain things that you do and you can unlock and try and there's 100 feats to complete. So if you can complete them all, good on you. If you can get the platinum trophy, that's what I'm grinding for right now. But I know it's going to be a very long grind but because of the type of game it is i think i'll just get it naturally just kind of playing every other day every day or every like massive session and it's just great like the amount of content crammed into this and if you go for the digital deluxe or if you go for the the, the dlc you're getting more songs you're getting songs from other series or the square enix titles and it just goes on and on and on like i can't say a bad thing i'm not really experienced anything bad about the game now there is a there is a small little bug that sometimes i have had a few freezing issues but it usually happens when i've just loaded up the game and going straight into a song that happened during the demo as well on ps5 specifically but it's not anything to kind of like say you can't buy this game or get about it's broken it's just a little nitpick i'm sure it may get pit, uh, patched in the day one patch if it has one or a patch down the lines but it doesn't happen all the time but I'm just throwing it out there if you guys are... There's something that you might look out for. Uh, I guess the rest are really nitpicks. I, Because I'm really into the RPG elements, I wish there was a way I could kind of like search for characters with a certain ability. So if I'm trying to really hammer in with magic abilities, I can sort out all the characters with like their type. So like attacker, defender, magic, support, summoner, and I think there's hunter um but i want to if i want to look for a specific ability so i want to take all my characters with the ability fire rigor i wish i could search for characters faster that way um just because i'm really into the rpg stuff again also when you go into a track and the series quests you have the enemies and the bosses you'll be going, coming up against i wish i could like tab onto that i've not found a way to do that i wish i could tab on and see what their weaknesses are if they inflict any status elements what they may be immune to just so i can approach the rpg element of the song a little bit easier again a little nitpick from me it's not too fussy like it's a more it saves me a lot of trial and error if i could just have a look to see what the the bosses may be weak against so i know what to take um 
yeah, little nitpicks here and there. And I think that's about it. I think I covered everything I want to cover. Obviously, there's three different, I should have probably mentioned this at the gameplay stage, but you got your field music, which is usually like your world map themes or your traversal themes, where you kind of have nice, like, uh, wavy lines and you kind of, like, go up and down the analog stick. Battle stages uh, is probably what you're going to be going through the most. And then once you complete a series, uh, for example, if you go through Final Fantasy VIII, you'll unlock a movie like a basically i'll have it up in the background as i'm saying this you'll have these movies where you are playing and watching the fmvs in the background which is a really cool touch and um, some of them are songs that you've already complete sometimes they're completely unique songs so yeah there's so much crammed into this game i tried to cram all of this into kind of a suitable digestible video i may have gone on a little bit here and there um but I really think that if you're a fan of Final Fantasy and Final Fantasy music, or even not just the music, or just a Final Fantasy fan, give this a try, give it a go. There is a download available so you can get like a gist of, hey, how you doing? You can get a gist of like how to approach the video, uh, approach the game. You've distracted me now, Kat. But in a nutshell, it, it is a great experience. It's a nostalgia trip. It's like, a, like I'm a numbers guy, so when it comes to the RPG elements, I'm like, I really want to get into that stuff. And yeah, it's really, really, really great. And I can't say much more than that. So thank you if you've made it to the end of the video. Uh, let me know what you thought of the demo. Are you going to pick up the game? Let me know in the comment section below. Again, thank you for watching. Thank you to Square Enix for supporting the channel as always. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you on the flip side. Oh,